Trincala is a medium-sized city and it's very uh, easy for us to test things. We love uh, find ways through innovation. I think. This is a real car going without a steering wheel, going without a driver. He has no brake pedals as all the other cars have for, let's say, for emergency reasons. We steer the vehicle uh, with the use of uh, electric uh, engines. We give commands to an engine. This uh, uh, it, it turns and turns the steering uh, system. We give commands to the brakes and the brake. We have manually driven the city and recorded our route, our path. We have a laser that scans the area in front and if something uh, goes in 10 meters uh, in front, it will just break softly. We have applied a very strong and secure uh, Wi-Fi network coming out to, uh, from a backbone of fiber optics and we have removed all these feelings of the driver here in the control room, in real time. He got a camera that he sees the front view, two mirrors, the inside of the car, and the voice over IP telephony that can communicate, can hear and can answer to the passengers that are, are on board. <laughs> When buses came in our city, we had people enthusiastic saying that, all right, this is a new thing, we would like very much to be on board. And we had people that they said, this is dangerous, and probably we're going to have accidents in our city. Six months later, we have proved that there are no accidents. If we are not offering our city, or any other city, or any other environment for these experiments, the technology will never be safer from the day that it has been discovered. We know that uh, when uh, internet uh, was discovered uh, 40 years ago, they said uh, this is a very useless uh, thing, uh, what we need. Them. They say the same thing for the bus now. Never mind, we keep on going. <laughs> <laughs>